Hey everybody, I thought I'd do this video. Now, I had a few moments earlier and I'm recording this in the morning and I'll upload this later on in the day when I can make a short uh, description, but once again I'm busy, but I thought this was an important video to do and I always have a time I always have time to turn on my uh, computer here and do a video that I don't have to put research into and I can just babble. But this is an important topic, I think, and I've had a lot of comments and questions and those of you, I mean, I have a Facebook page, but I never go to it. I made it, and I check out my kids' channel, my pages, and uh, what I found, I just shocked me so much. I don't go on Facebook ever, but I do have an account, and I went back to it. I've been on Facebook for like a minute over the past week, and I see the activity on my page, so I appreciate that a lot, and I don't know how much time I'm going to have for Facebook. It's not something I'm into, but I appreciate the friend requests, and I do see those. I'm not ignoring you people. I just don't have time for it. I'm overwhelmed with YouTube. I have 845 comments that need to be approved, and I don't have time to do any of this stuff, so I'm a little overwhelmed. So I just want to mention that if I don't get back to people or if I don't reply, but I went through my messages. So this is a video I'm going to make right now, and it's about other channels. And I know a lot of you are kind of beginners to the subject of ancient Egypt and other ancient sites. And you want to be directed to maybe some other channels. And that's very important because you just shouldn't take what one person says as, you know, the whole truth. And, you know, especially people like me, just take what I say and just balance that out with what, what other people say. And then make up your own opinion on these sites don't like have total belief in somebody make up your own opinion I think that's very important to say and you know view as many people that you can that talk about the same subject and just form your own opinion I can't stress that enough but the messages and comments a lot of people are beginners to this and they want to be directed and I know I, I was a beginner too I have many of the same questions and no no question is too basic or too simple because I had them once too so I'm just going to talk about my other channel list here and I love music and I love ancient history and I appreciate my friends so that is basically what comprises my other channel list so I'm just going to talk about each of these really quick or try to do this kind of as quick as possible but try to you know tell you what these are about here first of all um, let's see here my friend Dendel probably the YouTuber I spent the most time with over the past year. I am privileged to watch her sing. She performs on the, out in the promenade out here in Vegas. She's just a friend, uh, probably the most talented music person I know, a very smart person. Her new music video, Where I Come From, was put out a couple weeks ago. And just check out this video for links from all these people down in the comment section. But she's just a very good friend, and I'm just privileged to call her my friend and she has taught me a lot about how to tackle this thing we call life and I'm going to be chatting with her in a video down the line because I want you all to meet her she's just a very cool person now Graham Hancock here I would not be doing videos if it wasn't for Mr. Hancock his work was groundbreaking and it just opened the door for many other researchers channels like mine wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Graham Hancock and I know people see my Anubis thing and say, oh, you're anti gram No, 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 no. Mr. Hancock has said in more than a few videos, shouldn't we listen to what the ancient Egyptians say themselves? And he appreciates people who kind of, you know, put out their own theories and form their own opinions on this subject. So that's, I just took his advice, and that's where I came up with my Anubis theory. I just listened to what the ancient Egyptians told us was a history of the thing we call the Sphinx. Uh, going on here, Brian Forrester. Hugely important. Brian just has a huge following. I know many of you follow his videos. And I know some of you are new to all this and want to be directed some other places. So Brian's videos are just invaluable because he travels to these sites in Peru, in Egypt, and other sites. I saw he was in Petra, I believe. Not, not too long ago, and Brian's videos are invaluable. 
So thanks to Brian. I think Brian was born in Minnesota. Is that correct? But anyway, that's where I'm from. I'm from. I am not from Vegas, as a lot of people out here are not from here, born here. But uh, some of these other people are from Minnesota too. But I will just mention that really quick. But Randall Carlson, Geocosmic Rex, features his video along with Sacred Geometry International. And Randall's Carl's, uh, Randall Carlson's work is probably the most important thing maybe I've learned, and it relates to Graham Hancock's work that uh, really directed at the end of the Ice Age, and it's just been a hazy mystery for many people. We have been taught that it was just a gradual decline of the ice caps, especially over North America, and Randall has dedicated 30 years of his life to looking into the subject, and he has, you know, I think, totally debunked that proven it beyond a reasonable doubt that that is not the story and what we have been taught the standard model history is a load of crap so check out randall's videos they are featured on randall's cha uh, main channel sacred geometry international and geocosmic rex which features all of his videos now i've always kind of felt a special kinship to randall carlson he talks about in many videos how he kind of got interested in his subject being around 20 years old in the late 60s and being at a rock concert in Eam Prairie, Minnesota and overlooking the Minnesota River Valley and having this revelation in his mind that a long time ago the Minnesota River Valley supported just a huge massive flow of water. And I knew, <laughs> when I heard that, I knew exactly what he was talking about. I used to play softball at uh, Flying Cloud at the fields there and I used to go to something called drive-in movie theater at Flying Cloud Airport area, so I knew exactly what he was talking about, and I remember distinctly and perfectly having a conversation with my father, as maybe around 10, 12 years old, somewhere around there, and going uh, one town over, going over the 35W Bridge to a hockey game in Burnsville, Minnesota, and just saying to my dad, boy, a long time ago, the Minnesota River was huge, and he said, no, the little hundred yard across Minnesota River carved this valley just over a long time and these matching river bluffs are like two miles apart and that made no sense to me and I just said no no, no dad you are wrong and he just got so annoyed he just said shut up and think about your hockey game so I Randall I'd love to talk to you so going on here Megalithomania here, they feature a lot of people who uh, I really respect, Andrew Collins, Hugh Newman, uh, I know they had a video from Robert Temple recently, they feature many people who are involved in the so-called alternative, alternative history field, but what I have come to learn researching this, it shouldn't be called alternative history, because there are more than enough facts that clearly suggest this is the way things happen so that alternative history thing well, whatever but check out their channel they have great lectures they have all sorts of videos from many different sites and people who I really respect so check out their channel Joe Blevins he makes uh, very good music videos probably some of the best music videos on YouTube so if you like music, you like classic music, you like all sorts of music, check out Joe's videos. And going on here, uh, Danny Wilton. I've been friends with Danny really since my very first days on YouTube. He shared some of my early videos when I really wasn't very good at it at all. So I've always appreciated Danny for that. And he has uh, been involved in a video series where he goes over the map of Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid. And it's pretty incredible work. So, uh, you know, my brain just hurts after watching Danny's videos. But it's a good kind of hurt, so I've always liked Danny's channel. Uh, Callie Tucker. I featured Callie in uh, some videos. And she is just a friend. She lives up here in Summerlin. She performs at uh, Red Rock, the local casino up here in Summerlin. Just a sweetheart. I will leave links for all these people in the comment section. And uh, Callie, <laughs> just a very cool person, and I always enjoy talking to her. 
And you may remember Callie from Season 6 of The Voice, as well as uh, Dendal. They were on together, and they know each other and both live out here in Vegas. And Callie comes from a very famous musical family. And let me say this, I've been very touched from what I have seen from that family, as in regards to the passing of Glenn, Glenn Campbell. I just wanted to mention that. Demi Stelly, if you like eating healthy, Demi is a very cool person, and we kind of keep on bumping into each other here in Vegas, but she is just a very nice person, and uh, we had been friends before we started running into each other, and we always had nice conversations on YouTube, and it was just cool because when we bump into each other, those conversations just carry on in a very comfortable way, and Demi is just as nice as I always imagined she was, and she is a very, very smart person. And if you like eating healthy, check out Demi's channel. She has over 30,000 subscribers. And I hope to see some videos from you, Demi. I know you're kind of on a little break. But Seth Turner, I featured Seth in uh, probably about three dozen videos. Just a friend that I check out maybe once a week. Performs on, on, on the promenade like uh, Dendal. And I think we're going to be hitting the golf course real soon south of me so uh maybe maybe you'll see him out on the golf course but uh inky 35 productions if you like sumerian history go to her channel that's what she has really uh really dived into and i go to her for information uh, i myself like looking into many different aspects of ancient history and the sumerian thing has just been something i really haven't totally wrapped my head around and I always have questions, but her, I go to for answers, so check out her channel. Patrick Sieben, uh, he's just uh, from Minnesota. He performs at the Aria. I have featured Patrick in some videos. Nice guy, one of the most talented people on the Strip, and he has a channel that he has featured some uh, or done some videos on. That's why I have him on my channel. Carlos, uh, you like John Anthony West? Check out Carlos's channel. He has John Anthony West touring many of the famous sites in ancient Egypt. And of course, John Anthony West is uh, battling cancer. We should keep him in mind. But uh, Carlos's channel is really, I think, invaluable. And I know from some of the comments in the videos where I have featured John Anthony West, people don't really know who he is. But uh, he did the Magical Egypt series and did the special that was on over 20 years ago with the Mystery of the Sphinx were really brought into the public's mind that the Sphinx is thousands of years older than we have been led to believe. And Jimmy over at Bright Insight, just a huge thanks to him. He dives into many subjects that I do. And his mention to me in a video that has now been watched, I think a half a million times, over half a million times, has doubled basically my subscriber base. So that is just so cool when uh, people can mention you and it really benefits your channel. I have always done that. And I am just doing that today because people are curious about other channels. So I have another channel list, and I thought I'd talk about each of these. But I just think that's important, sharing other people's work. Take everybody's theories and information and form your own opinion. I need to run. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.